if you've noticed that during allergy season uh, your dizziness is worse, there may be a reason or explanation for that. So it's, it's not very well researched, but let's kind of explore what the connection might be between, I'm um, talking about seasonal allergies, not like food allergies, but between seasonal allergies or what they call allergic rhinitis or hay fever, those kinds of, those types of uh, allergies and uh, dizziness or vertigo. Um, now, kind of explaining seasonal allergies, you have an allergen, which is, you know, pollen, mold spores, dust mites. Um, and when those are present, the immune system produces antibodies um, called immunoglobulin, immunoglobulin E. Um, and these antibodies attach to mast cells that are uh, found in your eyes, your nose, and your throat. Um, and when this antibody comes into contact with the allergen, so the mold spore or the pollen or the dust mite, it releases histamines and inflammatory mediators. And these histamines, inflammatory mediators, cause that runny nose, the itching, the watery eyes, those types of reactions. Um, so you have these seasonal allergies, you know, they kind of come and go. They get a little bit worse when the pollen is more present in the air. Um, you know, if you're having a reaction to mold, maybe you notice that you're, it's worse when you're in a building or when you're in a water damaged building or even in your house if you're having a mold problem in your house. Um, what is the connection between that and dizziness or vertigo? Um, now, the, we got to talk about the anatomy a little bit because um, you have your, your throat and sinuses and there is a connection between that and the middle ear. Um, of, of the ear structure. So you have the outer, middle, and inner ear. Um, now, what is connecting between the throat and the middle ear is the eustachian tube. And that's where things can drain out of the middle ear to, um, or you know, changes in pressure are able to, to happen and regulate because of that eustachian tube and that connection. Um, so let's take, for example, um, if you have some kind of allergy you know, it's possible that when you have this kind of histamine release and these inflammatory mediators that could kind of travel up the eustachian tube and cause infl inflammation in the middle ear, which wouldn't necessarily cause a problem with the vestibular system, but might indirectly affect it by putting pressure on the inner ear. And especially if you have some kind of disorder with that, um, with that perilymph fluid, in the inner ear, like Meniere's disease or something like that, that might trigger some kind of um, dizziness or vertigo attacks. Uh, um, but, you know, you could also have eustachian tube dysfunction where you get that narrowing of the eustachian tube and then the pressure cha changes might not occur, um, leading to pressure on the inner ear and some dizziness as well. Um, or they found an association between people with allergies there's a higher incidence of Meniere's disease. So if you think about this, Meniere's disease, there's a problem with the, the fluid within the inner ear system and an increase in that fluid within the inner ear system. So you know, possibly if you're getting inflammation in that area from these allergies and the, just the, all the inflammatory mediators that are being released, you're gonna have the same kind of problem where um, it's gonna disrupt how the fluid is, is flowing. So you can have that kind of acute you know, there's a lot of allergen in the air. You have an increase in inflammatory mediators, increased inflammation in the inner ear, disrupting how the um, fluid is uh, flowing within, being produced or absorbed within the inner ear, possibly causing a Meniere's attack if you're prone to that. Um, the other thing to consider is that rather than just that acute or that short phase, you know, if you have this kind of recurring um, inflammation, per perhaps there's some kind of damage to the inner ear system, um, creating more chronic long-term problem with the inner ear system and leading to more chronic dizziness. Um, so there have been some research studies that have found that there's a higher incidence of Meniere's disease with people who have, um, you know, uh, seasonal allergies. Um, now there's some other conditions that are more related to kind of the cardiovascular system that could be, well, the neuro, or I should say neurovascular system, but yeah, the, the neuro neurological system and the cardiovascular system. So, uh, you know, neurotransmitters can have an effect on what happens with the cardiovascular system. 
Um, now we're talking about like uh, vasovagal syncope, if anybody has experienced that, or POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Um, now, when you have these kind of inflammatory mediators and this histamine response that can cause vasodilation, so the arteries or the blood vessels can dilate and that's gonna reduce the flow. Um, well, it's gonna kind of make it harder for blood to flow throughout the system. Um, and that could lead to increases in increased incidence of lightheadedness, dizziness, and especially if you have POTS already or vasovagal syncope, that could trigger an attack possibly because um, you're gonna get this increase in heart rate and then the, the blood vessels are gonna dilate so you're not getting the blood pumped back through the heart and through your body, through your system, um, as, as well um, as it typically is. Um, so, you know, that's a possibility as well. Um, so, you know, there's a few conditions that um, could be associated with seasonal allergies. You know, it's possibly eustachian tube dysfunction um, and possibly vasovagal syncope or POTS. Um, now there's, if you're experiencing any of those diagnoses, then do look at, and you noticing that there's a, um, an association between that and your kind of, and your seasonal allergies. If you do suffer some seasonal, seasonal allergy, allergies, then that's a link that maybe to, maybe to explore with your physician or your doctor. Um, and, you know, particularly if you are in a, in a building that has had, um, if you're noticing that your symptoms are worse when you go inside of a building or inside of a room or inside of your house, um, you know, you want to explore to see if there's any kind of water damage areas because mold can be a big trigger for all these allergens and even more significant symptoms as well. Um, so talk to your doctor if, if that is something that's, um, that's occurring. And you also want to consider gut dysbiosis because that has a big part to play in our health and well-being as well as how you mediate uh, kind of all those inflammatory um, things as, and the link between that and the kidneys and your adrenals and um, you know they all kind of um, play together. So uh, there's a lot of things to consider if you have allergies. Um, that's not my expertise so I'll kind of defer to um, you know maybe other other YouTube channels but I just wanted to, to have you consider the anatomy, um, consider kind of that physiological response to allergies, uh, what might be occurring and what that might lead to um, possibly causing some kind of vestibular disorder or vestibular attack. If you're noticing an association between seasonal allergies and your dizziness, maybe one of those issues is happening, possibly. Um, but yeah, I hope that was that was helpful or at least uh, thought provoking. Um, you know, we'll continue to explore and see if there's more research that comes out that's um, comes out with information that might be helpful in um, addressing those issues, or if they find stronger links between those those uh, diagnoses or conditions and seasonal allergies. Uh, but thank you for watching, and um, hope you have a wonderful day.